Welcome to Exploring This Life, Season 1, Episode 17. In this episode, Steve and I hike six miles into El Dorado Canyon and then obviously six miles back out. And we're looking for a, a bathtub that was made out of granite that uh, the stream runs through and you can bathe in. Okay. Hi, I'm with Steve again. What are we doing, Steve? Uh, well, this is where they made charcoal for Virginia City. These are called charcoal kilns. And I think it's limestone. You can see where they got it real hot. The limestone kind of melted. And so that's where they know what's in there. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to video that. Was it two kilns or just one big one? I think this is two and there's one. There's another one up, up above. It's kind of demolished though. Kids come up here and party or something, you know. But you can oh, see, wow. uh, see where the limestone melted from the heat. Yeah. I don't know. Can I walk up there a little? Without breaking a leg? Ooh, I don't know if I can get in there. Probably not, huh? We'll have to go up and look at them from in. Well, be, yeah, it's all loose rock, but those it's are pretty big rocks there. Yeah, these are huge rocks. Coming down. Yeah, I did not know these were back here. That's impressive. So we're above the kilns now. Yeah, it looks like definitely loose rock. You can see how thick it was. I'll just... That's very neat that that wall is still standing pretty good. That's cool. I don't know what else it would be. Somebody just told me it was charcoal kiln, so I don't really know for sure. But you, I'll take your word you for can it. Know it was hot because it melted the right rock. But <clears throat> I don't know. I don't see any charcoal now. Somebody maybe came up and used it for barbecue or something. <laughs> Who knows? They might have. Yeah. So I think it's. This is the other one in here? Uh, yeah, I think they, I don't know if they, I don't know how they got those big rocks on top of each other, though. I don't either. I wonder, well, I guess they could have used a horse or something, but. What a weird landscape. It's pretty though. You can see, is that a timber? Yeah, that's like a tree. Like they had a structure here. Oops. They had a structure and that's all that's left. So it's what, like 6.30 in the morning and we're going to do a 12 mile hike? <laughs> Remember I exaggerate sometimes, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying that uh, I got the map, you know, the, the VOM map and I measured it off, that's what I figured, six and a half miles from the dam to the spring. So. Okay, but we can do it. <clears throat> yeah, we can do it. Is that what that is? Yeah, that's weird. It looks like they've been eating berries. Berries or something. It's all over in the back of my house. Do they get noisy at night? Yeah, but I don't hear them. I... You take your hearing aid out. So finally, we get to water. 
the first water in El Dorado Canyon. Oh yeah. Power line. Yep. But they don't ever maintain them, you know. No. It's just, I guess it's just in case one of the wires breaks, they can come down here and pick it up. Yeah, I wonder how the hell they get it all the way up there. They must use it. They have to have a road up there. Maybe a road back on the other side. It must be a helicopter or something. Yeah, I mean that's a long. Whew. That's a long wire. Yeah, it is. Some people found him and took him to uh, Carson City. That's amazing. Yeah, he's uh, my fault, you know. Dogs get thirsty. Well, yeah. But, yeah, I think someplace around here is where that old hermit lives up around the corner maybe sort of back against the hill he had like a lean to type thing was it made out of rock or just like branches well it gets snow down here but not not as much as up on top i don't think Maybe the water keeps it from sticking or something. Yeah, this is nice and green back here. I could live back here. And it's cool. Boy, that's some big trees. <laughs> I don't think he built the wall, but he had it up against the hill over there. He had a uh, little, not a hut, just a roof. Right. Probably all gone now. Was that like a tin roof? Well, yeah, it was, uh, what the heck was it? Boy, it was up against the dirt there. They're talking like 1995 or seven or something. Though. So like 25 years ago? Yeah. There's yeah, plenty of firewood. I love seeing the green. I need to live by water. Super duper special one that somebody gave me. Nice. Then you soak it in cold water and then it stays cold. You put it yeah. on your forehead. Did you bring it? Yeah. I didn't soak it in water though. I don't know if it works. Feels like it has gravel inside of it. Hmm. Whatever that, whatever it is, it soaks up the cold, I guess. Yeah, that's very pretty rock. The moon is still out. Yeah, Nevada has such different landscapes everywhere. It's I like, know. 
It's, it's, it's only on this side. See, on that side, there's something else. Yeah. And every place where the water cut, you know, it's different. Well, it looks like it would be nice to camp down there closer to the water. Yeah, except I think you'd get a lot of bug. Probably. Maybe. Well, maybe not. I mean, you know, that's what I'm thinking. The Indians probably camp up on the edge. Right. Send the kids down to get water, right? That's right. Make the kids do the work. <laughs> yeah. I'm just following the road. Well, I'm just following you. That's a pretty mulling. I don't know why God put all these Yeah. Seems like there could be a lot of places too. Yeah, it is pretty rocky. Yeah, and that's a different kind of rock formation. All right, what happened to the road? We gotta choose. Choose our own adventure. Yeah. Well, it, 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 was a, it was a pretty bad flood. This might be the place. There's a place here you can't drive a truck anymore. So. This looks like it. Oh, the road. It looks like the road's all the way to the left. Yeah, there's some great big boulders. I wonder if there's any water down in here. Alright, let's see here. No water. Yeah, it goes underground. That's what I think. Lyon County. Well, there's no water going into the river anymore, the Carson River anymore. Right. I think they just suck it all out. So now it's down underneath. Yeah, I haven't seen any horse tracks lately. No, me either. They must stick back there by the spring, which would be yeah. smart. Oh, look, this used to have a fence or something. I see a barbed wire. Barbed wire. Oh, yeah. I think this was a cattle ranch. Well, it still is up okay. on that side. Is that the Quilici? Quilici? How do you say that? Quilici? The Quilici oh, no, Ranch? I don't know who it is. I met uh, one young guy out here one time. He was real nice. What's that? Don't know what that is. What'd you find? Some like metal, metal thing with holes. See, like that landscape is just amazing. With the white, soft, fluffy rocks and then the sharp, square, red rocks. This is pretty narrow part of the canyon. I guess they could, that's probably why they put the fence here. 
Yeah. Not, you know. It's nice. A lot of help that would be. <laughs> Tie a note to him and hope he gets hungry and goes home. Right? But did you bring a pencil? I didn't bring anything to write with. <laughs> See, places like this where it gets all the way down to bedrock, then you you find golden like in that gravel. I don't see my nugget. Because the gold can't go any deeper, you know. They have prospectors up here. I don't know if they're doing any good, but. So we've been hiking for about three and a half hours. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at that cave, Steve. Look at that cave. I'm yeah. gonna have to walk over there. I don't remember that. Then we might not be on the right road. <laughs> well, it has changed a little bit, you know, with the flash floods and stuff. You're right, it might be on a different road. <laughs> Well, this is pretty impressive. It's very, very nice rock formations with this water running through. Hi, lizard. Let me go over here. Well, somebody knows about it for sure because they keep having fires in here. And there's another cave across the way up top up there. But look, the the vehicle tracks are over here too. We press on. I think that big boulder came out of there. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't a cave there last time. Maybe that boulder just came it out. It came rolling out. When was the last time you were up here? Oh man, a long time ago. When I took uh, Jeff and his kid up here, it was probably like eight or ten years ago. Okay. All right, we go up. So we've been hiking for four and a half hours. It's noon. And we got to the end, well, we had to turn around because after about four hours of hiking, we came to a place where the road was completely washed out down into like a cliff area. So we turned around and now we're heading back and we never found the place where we were trying to get to in El Dorado Canyon. So we're gonna check out a different way and see if maybe this granite quarry is we walked by, by it at one time, which we may have, because the road is washed out, and it doesn't look the same as it did last time Steve was here. So, anyway. 
Alrighty. Are we going this way? No. I don't. No, we're going yeah. We gotta walk on the rocks. A lot of milkweed back here. This is milkweed. I grow this in my backyard. But the butterflies are happy. I think that must be willow trees or something. This is willow. And then in there is... We're almost back to where we saw the cave first time. I just love this landscape. And the stream runs to the right of us the whole way through. Yeah, that red rock is beautiful. Yeah. The blue sky in Nevada cannot be beat. It was like chocolate chip cookies. It does. Yeah, I must be getting hungry. Chocolate chip cookie dough. How many more peanuts do we have? <laughs> yeah, right. Because I ran out of food. <laughs> you did? Yeah, I ate all my bars and my oh. jerky. Oh, don't worry, I got more. Ate half your peanuts. See, this sort of looks like it because of the way those canyon walls are coming in. Right. Most of it, they're way far apart. You know? I would be weird if that spring dried up. You know, sometimes when they have earthquakes and things, that's what happens. Oh, yeah. Very true. That would not be good. No. This is part of the Dayton water supply. So I am going to drop a pin and find out what this is so that when we get back. Yeah, there's a cave up here that I want to get a video of that I can see. I mean, I don't know if it's a cave, but it's like a, a, a open an opening in this white wall up here. Isn't that what your tattoo thing is? A cave? My Tatooine? Tatooine? Yep, this looks like Tatooine. If it is, we're hauling ass. <laughs> really? We're doing good. Much better on the way back than we did on the way up. But we are going downhill most of the way. Oh. To the right of this big tree, there is a cave. Um, to the right, over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we were uphill a little bit. There's more white stuff down and there. And that's what I wanted you to remind me about. Okay. We're at that spot. But I thought the fence was after. Okay. But yeah, that is a cave. Yeah, you're right. It almost looks like it's man-made. I know. know. The bottom two rocks are supporting the top one. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't feel like climbing up there today.
decomposing granite. You know, this is? No. <laughs> oh, it's, you're just making Everything a joke. Is. Yes. You probably went the smart way. Yeah. Another time I'll have to walk up when it's cooler and search yeah, out the cave. <coughs> oh, that bless you. There's oh, another one right back there. Oh, I don't know if we can see it if we come down a little further. Be careful, you know, there might be bobcats or something up there. I'm sure, and bobcats I don't. Bobcats are nothing to tangle with, I'll tell you. They're like. Hungry? They're like a big, like the Tasmanian devil. Or right. Something. Oh, look at these guys. He tried to climb up there. Oh, oh yeah. They are trying to ride their bikes up. Is that a road? I don't think so. It's just a challenge. Yeah. It must be nice to be rich. You can buy new tires all the time. Yes. Oh, that zoomed in really fast, and I didn't mean it to. Yeah, I really enjoy that rock. I think it's pretty. Yeah, this is interesting geology in this here canyon for some reason. I know, and it's so diverse. It's not like that going up to Como. It's just... No. We've been hiking for eight and a half hours. It's three o'clock. We're almost to the truck. And I don't know, did you have fun? Yeah, only <laughs> two ATVs and only two dirt bikes, so that was pretty good. Yeah. On a Saturday even. Yep. No, it was a perfect day. It's getting a little hot now, but we're almost finished. So, and we don't know how far we walked. Uh, I've pinned places along the way so that I can go home and look at the maps and see how far we actually did walk. But hopefully we'll get to the truck soon. Yay, I see the truck. It's still on the hill. It didn't roll down the hill. We are almost there. I'll race ya. No, 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 no. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Why, yes. I know. Where did I put on my roller skates? <laughs> I guess you could always walk up, but. Push it. Push the bike up the hill. Yeah. <laughs> that would stink. Almost. Yes. We made it. Yeah, good. High five. In the air. Oh, there he is right no, we are at the truck. Cool. Oh, so happy. It's even in the shade. Part of it. The, the bed part that doesn't matter. Yeah, we parked it like that. You! <laughs> I always park it like that. All right, I'll move my rocks. Thanks for following along with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you will be able to leave us a thumbs up if you like this video. And also you will be able to leave a comment if you want to. We'll see you next time.